Hi there, this is the first video of my new playlist Datasheet. Today in this video we will see how to read a datasheet. So what is a datasheet? According to Google, it is a document containing the specifications of a particular product. There is one problem though. These documents are written by engineer. You might ask what is the problem here? So in general, only a chemist can understand doctor's handwriting, especially in India. The same way, only an engineer can understand another engineer. So this is going to be hard for a beginner to understand. So no need to worry, I am here to help you. I can read the entire data sheet line by line and explain it to you. So let's get started. The first page of any data sheet gives the overall overview of the product, of the particular components which you are looking at. So in case it's our triple file IC, so the first page gives us the features, description and its applications and schematics. Next we have different packages. So in case of triple file IC's data sheet, we have a Dune 9 package and metal can package. So this is only according to Maxims, whereas other manufacturers provide different other packages. Next, we have recommended operating conditions, AC and DC characteristics. So this basically gives us the information about the input voltage, about the operating voltage of the triplified timers IC. So according to this, we can give around 16 to 18 volt. And the electrical characteristics of this IC gives the behavior of the IC at different test conditions. Typical performance characteristics of triple file timer. So this is very important if you are going to use this triple file IC for industrial applications because uh, we cannot always say our industrial environment will be favorable for our IC because uh, there will be adverse humidity and temperature effects. Timing diagram and truth table. So these two concepts are irrelevant in terms of triple file IC but still they are important if you are working with some other IC. So if you take uh, Maxim's Max 2200 IC, they have given the timing diagram for an effective SPI read and write operation. The same way when it comes to digital ICs, we have truth table which will which makes us easy to analyze the output based on input, application example and schematics. Most of the data sheet provides us with their recommended application examples and schematics which quickly helps us to enter prototyping mode. And finally, we have layout considerations and packaging information. This is very important for an PCB designer because they need to know what are the recommended layout considerations and packaging of the specific IC so they can make the PCB designs and get ready for PCB fabrications. So basically, this session is very helpful for PCB designer. So now, it's time for me to give the line by line explanation of this triple file of this LM triple file data sheet. Start with the features of triple file timer IC. So the first line is direct replacement for ME triple file and SE triple file. So here Texas Instruments wants to say that if we have a circuit where we have used SE triple file or ME triple file, we can directly remove that IC and replace that IC with LM triple file IC. And the next point is timing from microseconds to milliseconds. So let's imagine if you have a circuit based on triple file IC and you are creating a time based delay for if you are making a time based delay to blink this LED so you can adjust the timing of this blinking rate from microseconds to an hour. Operates in both A stable and mono stable mode. So these are the operating modes of triple file IC timer. So this makes a subject for another video, means basically we have a stable, monostable and byte stable modes, but they are still mentioned a stable and monostable. But anyway, if time permits, I can make another video and explain this even more detailed. Adjustable duty cycle, well, almost all the triple file ICs offer the same feature, the duty cycles are adjustable, it's based on the variable register or the capacitor which you have in it. Output can source or sync up to 200 milliamp. So, what is 200 milliamp? So, if you compare this with Arduino Uno, so Arduino Uno has a maximum pinout 
current of 40 milliamp. So let's say you are able to connect two LEDs with Arduino Uno's pinout, then your triple fry IC can drive up to 20 LEDs, considering that each LED consumes 10 milliamp. Output and supply are TTL compatible. So basically, TTL refers to 5 volt logic. And for 5 volt TTL logic, uh, a voltage from 0 to 0 0.8 is considered as low and 2 to 5 volt is considered as 1. Temperature stability better than 0.005%. Normally, all electronic components behavior is affected by this temperature changes. The only thing which makes them suitable for use is temperature compensation. So, I guess they have some better temperature compensation in there. So, basically what this point specifies is, even though if you manage to make a circuit with precise one second delay, but due to temperature changes, there will be an error of plus or minus 0.005% at the output. Well, this is negligible, but in case if you are going to use this output pulse to drive an external device such as a microcontroller, such as a clock source for a microcontroller, if this 0.005% creates enormous changes, then your program might not run. Your program might run, but in case you are running a complicated serial communication protocol, your baud rate will get mismatched and basically 50% of your program will not work. Normally on and normally off output. If you have worked with relays, you will you might have came across the term normally open and normally closed. The same way they are trying to refer the same thing. So normally on and normally off output. Generally this is accomplished with a complementary version of the output pin. So according to my understanding there is no complementary version of the output and I don't know how they managed to do this. It's definitely a subject for another video. And this package is available in 8 pin VSSOP package. Very thin shrink, small outline package. These packages are smaller than you think. Even your predictions cannot predict exactly how small they are. Let's have a look at this application session. Precise timing, pulse generation, sequential timing, time delay generation, PWM, PPM and linear ramp generation. Duty and frequency adjustment features of this IC makes it suitable for all these applications. Let's move to our next heading, description. Everything is the same as before, boring stuff. We are just trying to explain the same features again. Next we got device information and schematic diagram. Well, in order to explain this, I have to make few more videos because they are a little bit time consuming. So maybe I'll try to explain this in my future videos, not next videos, in my future videos because I'm not sure next is some other video in my future videos. For my next video of this database series, I'll explain the first page of ID 209 datasheet, which is a bi-directional current power monitoring sensor. Subscribe and click the bell icon if you don't want to miss my next video.